Hello everyone, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com and I'm going to show you today how to run a or uh, make a running counter in a SQL query. Uh, for example, I have this. What I mean by running counter is that I take a list of numbers that are unordered and I have to increment the numbers uh, starting from one to however many numbers there are. And again, this will work for uh, any really any amount of numbers you can think of you know 100 numbers that will do 1 through 100 uh, it just takes the first first row and then starts down the list like you were going to do in Excel it's very very cool um, and uh, very 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 useful um, and so I'm sure you're going to find a lot of a lot of use out of this a very useful tool and anyway, it's not a newly discovered, I did some research to figure this out, but I think it would be real helpful, so I wanted to make a video on it. Uh, you could download the database at vbahowto.com. I'm going to put the direct link down there in the comment box, and you can uh, download the database at vbahowto.com. Anyway, uh, so... Uh, this table right here, TBL running sum, it just has a list of uh, it just has a list of uh, values. Okay, just a list of random values from eight to twenty, and uh, QRY increment just allows me to increment those values. It, that's all it all it does. And so when when you see these you table, see this query in this table. Well, that's all. That's all that it does is, is increments or just used together. So, really, it's just an example. I just have this one query and one table, and really, the powers in in the thing that does the incrementing is uh, right here. And I'm operating Shift F2. I'm going into my. Um, I can't really see this, so I'm going to go ahead and make the font a little bit bigger. Okay, I clicked on font, and so anyway, I have this. It says decount. It's using the decount function, and it's just. I mean, this is nice. It just uses the same exact table. I just need one particular. I want need one table for this. Uh, decount. The star means everything. So I'm getting everything from that table. All my ten rows. Uh, the demand TBL running sum that's in my table and the number that's in here is less than or equal to the number okay so and it starts with one automatically so it understands to so start at one okay from the first row to the last row kind of like a record set you're incrementing the number you have your own counter um, you have your own counter you have to set at one you increment it each time well this you don't really have to do you just uh, it increments itself basically uh, so anyway I'm gonna cancel out of this and I'm gonna close out of my close out of this okay now here's the deal and I'm pressing control W to get out to close down uh, here's the deal I have TBL numbers here. Okay, it just shows me a list of numbers down here, and it's you know 16 numbers and letters. Doesn't really matter what you have. This is for example for maybe a different things, different numbers, and I want it. This the TBL insert into is exact same table, exact same table. I'm doing this for an example. Now the issue is this. Okay, I'm going to. I have all my information in here. I'm going to wipe it out, and I'm going to stick it into TBL insert into. Now notice how I have an auto number field here. Okay, this new. Uh, it's an auto number field. I'm going to start with 17 next time. If I was to. Just delete the records and re-add them. Okay. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the record here. And I had this little query to delete, and I'm deleting. And then notice how insert into is now it's now blank. Okay. If I if I go ahead and add a new item into the table, it starts out with 17. 
Well, I don't want it to do that. I want to renumber it starting from one. Okay. Uh, well, when I click on QRI append, again, this is using the query, the 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 verbiage, the language from QRI increment. I'm just saying, well, insert the start increment in my counter, and it says from the first row, basically. So and see, I'm putting that into. I want to bake a little bit bigger here. Shift F2. And decount, blah, blah, blah. It's the same, same, same language as what I had that I showed you just a moment ago. Okay, when I go ahead and run this, I go ahead and run this and bang. It's for 16 rows. And I'm starting out when I open up this table again, I'm starting out with number one through 17 okay 1 through 17 and bang I'm closing it then when I delete it this I can go around the block on this thing just over and over again now remember there were only 16 rows in the table I had one that's why there's 17 okay and here again one if I had another row, it started at D17. If I delete, that keeps you from having to delete this ID column all the time. Because when you delete an auto number, and you, uh, the only way to get it back to one again is by deleting the column, and then re adding the column, and then calling the auto number, and then it starts at one again. Well, this way avoids me having to do all that stuff. I just delete it and utilize this. Uh, so anyway, the video's over. Uh, download the database at vbahowto.com. I'll have it down there in the in the comment area, and uh, have fun with it. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you find this really real helpful. Again, this was Eric with VBA How To, and I hope it helps. Until the next video, bye.